Ah, 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 hi again, everybody. How are you all doing today? I'm doing kind of just okay, if I'm being honest. I saw a dead squirrel on the side of the road, and it made me sad. But my feelings don't matter at all right now, because today we don't have any time to waste. Today is the day of the Area 51 raid. And before we do it, we have a lot to talk about. First things first. First, we need to figure out what it is we're even trying to get out of that hell hole. I've heard everything from people wanting to find hot alien babes to people asking for the fabled round block in Minecraft. But never mind that. Personally, I know exactly what I'm looking for. After this email I got from YouTube yesterday, I know just what I want out of all of this. Apparently, a bunch of YouTubers who were formally verified, including myself, ranging from people with like 100k subs all the way up into the millions, have gotten the same email saying that they are losing their verification tick. But I'm hoping that if they don't approve my appeal to get my tick back, that maybe you'll find a spare verification badge laying around in the wasteland of the Nevada desert. Not inside Area 51, mind you. I'm not trying to get shot. At least not yet. For real fact, let me tell y'all what you don't have to go to Area 51 to get. Something that you can order from the comfort of in front of your computer screen right now. Introducing Masked Up Clothing Collection 1 now available at mastup.shop. It has been ages since I've had any merch at all for sale anywhere, and we've been working on these products for months, and I am super happy with how they've turned out. You've got this embroidered Masked Up signature hoodie that I'm currently embodying right now. You also have this super slick High Again Dad hat. It says Hi Again on it. You also got this cream-colored embroidered Masked Up shirt. And last but certainly not least, you got this sick-ass skull design shirt here. This is genuinely dope. Like, you can't lie. You cannot lie to me. Like I said, all of these are available at mastup.shop. I repeat, mashedup.shop. I've been waiting for months to release these and I want to give a thanks the size of Mount Rushmore to Layton who designed all of these pieces. He's an incredibly talented guy and without him, literally none of this would have happened. So big thanks to him. So be sure to go cop some mashed up clothing. Mashedup.shop. All right, where were we with all of this? Right, the Area 51 raid is on the horizon. Like roughly two hours from now if I actually get this video done on time. And in the days leading up to when this mess was all set to go down, the meme has seen itself undergo a revitalization. And also some YouTubers got arrested because they were trespassing on Area 51. Good stuff. Apparently they were two Dutch YouTubers who didn't just tow the line where it says no trespassing or whatever. Instead, they actually ended up getting like three miles into Area 51. Like how a bug manages to get into your house only to be stepped on by a human boot. Apparently these two almost spent a whole year in jail, but they managed to get off with a few days in jail, as well as a couple thousand dollar fine and all the equipment they brought with them being confiscated. They say they've learned their lesson and God, I hope so because they're very lucky that they got the chance to learn from it at all? Like, Jesus Christ. But memes have been kicking up all over the place in the last few days because of the raid being upon us. And I figured we could do a little dance a rooney and take a look at a few of them. Last I checked on Twitter, hashtag Area51 is trending with like 35,000 tweets, though probably more at this point if I'm being honest with myself about the state of the world. And in that Area51 hashtag is loads of funny memes and also corporations doing their best to bank off of the now canceled event. First thing I want to do is make y'all take a good, hard, long look at what the harsh and hopefully real reality of today's events were. Everybody tweeting about the Area 51 raid versus the amount of people showing up. And here we have the funny Spongebob meme where it's the crowd around the three houses very excited, but in actuality, no one is gonna be there because everybody talking about the meme is actually the type to stay inside. And God, I hope it's like that because we don't need people getting shot. It's Friday, guys. It's supposed to be the start of the weekend, not sad. I've seen a lot of memes being somewhat rehashed now that we've had a few months to cool off from them. And so everybody's forgotten about the ones that were popping at the time when the beam first shot off. For instance, we got good old Emily Rain saying, when going to Area 51, make sure to bring your beds to respawn and use creative mode. Hashtag Area 51. Don't forget to put your beds down so we can respawn right on Area 51. And I really just gotta take a second to shit on the placement of these beds. Y'all gotta remember that you're going to the desert in the middle of Nevada, which is the closest thing that the mortal plane has to an equivalent of the nether. So you best believe that the second you try and sleep in those beds, they are going to blow up right under your cushy ass. And you won't be respawning anywhere near Area 51. Also, the big difference from Minecraft is that when the beds blow up, it won't be because you aren't allowed to sleep in hell. It'll instead be because drone strikes are being dropped on your precise coordinates. Speaking of, uh, drone strikes, I don't know, I don't have a clever transition here. I just wanted to remind you guys to go to mastup.shop. You got a little bit more of that dark humor that I love to see from good old Yamato. I, I love how I'm pretending to know these people who make these tweets. Like, I keep referring to them as if they're people I have interacted with very frequently before 
are seeing their tweets for this video, I think I may be suffering from some form of early onset dementia. But anyways, here's what at Born Hills only said. Hashtag Area 51 guards when they get the chance to slaughter 50,000 civilians intruding the base. And then it's just the boys having a good time dancing and celebrating. It's very wholesome. Also, I know George Mimulus mentioned this in one of the videos we did together, but saying something went viral feels like such a boomer term. Like it's something you only hear on the local news that you accidentally watched when you woke up too early for school and you turn on the TV to see if there's anything remotely interesting on, which there never is unless you go to Adult Swim. But that might seem unrelated, but I kind of feel the same way about saying hashtag anything at this point. Like the only time I ever hear someone say hashtag out loud is when I say it to myself for a video or if someone is trying to make fun of Gen Z kids because of the funny Gen Z stereotype where they are addicted to social media. Ha ha, dumbass kids. Or some shit like that. It usually goes something like this. Uh, hashtag selfie, hashtag area 51, hashtag area 51 raid. Ha ha, I'm gonna get so many likes, guys. Ugh, God, like that's some shit you'd see on Family Guy when they want to make fun of millennials because the writers are finally getting to the point in their lives where they have to be afraid of shitting themselves every time they stand up. Their bowels are failing them. And also because the kids just won't watch their show anymore. God, that was a rather long tangent, wasn't it? But let's see what else Twitter has to say and hashtag Area 51. Casta, Casta, pulling up with something special. I don't know how to say his name. Showing us what we're gonna do after we free all of those aliens. The after party is gonna be freaking crazy, bro. And we're gonna find out what happens when you pump an alien's body full of 12 metric tons of cocaine. Hey, pull up to the after party after the hashtag Area 51 raid. And then you got this alien just absolutely tripping balls. Chowder 908, a world renowned artist known across the globe for many of his incredible works, gives us his artist rendition slash depiction of how he thinks the raid will go from the perspective of a dude streaming. Hashtag Area 51 raid is tomorrow. Here is how I imagine the guy live streaming it will be. And then it's just the legend of a storm chaser himself who took a fat pick right next to a tornado. Except instead of a dust devil, it's Naruto runners and anime girls versus the might of the US military industrial complex. Hmm, I wonder who will win, anime or capitalism? Speaking of people getting ready to stream this catastrophe in the making, I'm pretty sure Too Mad is streaming the damn thing like right now. Like as this video goes up, he's probably live. As he said, he'll be live on Twitch starting at noon Pacific time on September 20th, 2019. He doesn't really care about the aliens, I don't think, but I believe he's very much looking forward to racking up some mad viewer counts on that bitch. All I can say to you, Too Mad, is that you are a national hero. Just don't be too much of a hero or you'll probably die for it. And you can't die on Twitch streams now as that violates community guidelines and you'll likely get banned for it. Just trying to look out for you out there, brother. Steffi over here coming at us what I think is the worst tweet I've seen from this whole thing. I say that ironically because I'm pretty sure they're also being ironic with this as well. Saying, the day we've all been waiting for is tomorrow. Our training has all led to this. We are ready. We are mighty. If we fall, then we will all fall together as we Naruto run into the glorious sunset for the final time. Hashtag Area 51. And then attached is a Naruto running gif. Fucking nerd. Purple Talon over here was very caught off guard by that last time remark, and to express these emotions, use the ever reliable, confused Mr. Krabs reaction image. Wait, final time? I thought we were doing this on hardcore mode. Oh, silly, the game was always on hardcore mode. You never had a choice in the matter. We're all just pawns in a higher being's game of sins. And there's no escape from this other than death. And even that's not a certainty because reincarnation might be a thing. So what's the point of anything? <laughs> Man, if only I had a sick shirt from MassedUp.shop to help me recover from the existential crisis I'm currently going through. Oh, wait! MassedUp.shop. Some people still hold out hope that our combined powers will be enough to topple the might of the most well-funded military in the world. Just because we have sheer volume of people or something. The buffoons. Remember what happened when the Incan Empire thought they could do that with the Spanish? Yeah, I thought so. Tomorrow, hashtag Area 51. When the guards hear the collective sounds of 300,000 monster energy drinks opening in the desert. Those guards know they are in for some shit. Either an international incident or a really good time. Hell, it might just end up being both. I don't know that this guy made the image, but this is probably the most well-made depiction of us all working together to free the aliens that I've seen. Like, it's unironically really good. Don't know if that makes me sad or happy. Tomorrow is the day. Godspeed, you majestic warriors. And then just look at this image. Whoever made this, props to you. You are a very talented and excellent propagandist. Stalin would have loved to have you during his reign. Now that we've gotten all our funnies in, though, let's run through the plan one last time. First things first, everybody, we are completely out of our depth and on our own. The founder has pulled out and canceled the official raid due to concerns that people will 
actually show up and get hurt, and that we might have a Fire Festival 2.0 on our hands, as he said. The absolute last thing anybody ever needs. And he's absolutely right. None of you should go to Area 51 with the intention of storming it. Maybe looking at it without crossing the line that means you're trespassing, but not to storm it, because you'll likely die or get arrested, homie. But right, so before anything, you need to plant your beds near Area 51 so we can respawn real close, it doesn't hurt to try, and so we can have a practically infinite amount of foot soldiers storming the base in a constant barrage. No breaks, no stoppage, otherwise this thing has no hope of working at all. I mean, it already doesn't have any hope of working at all, but we're gonna keep describing it in detail for comedic and video runtime purposes. The anti-vax kids are going straight in. They are our meat shields and will die first because they're gonna die anyways. While this happens, the Naruto runners and the heavily armed lads are gonna flank the sides of the base while the Karens, furries, rock throwers, Kyles, and crackheads run interference with a main chunk of the guards. And while the bulk of the base's forces are concentrated towards the front of the facility and with everybody else in the front, the rest of us, and by us I mean y'all fuckers because you're not gonna catch me dead within a five mile radius of that place while all this shit is going down, are gonna sneak into the back through the mountains and then get the fuck out with everything that we can grab. All right, on three, two, one, break! All right, but jokes aside, and also in the jokes too, it's probably too late for this, but don't try to storm Area 51. Though when this video goes out, if you were going to do it, you were probably already there. Yup, it's already too late, but yeah, it's an awful idea to actually try and go inside the base. Just keep it to internet shits and giggles, and I think we'll be okay. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, and if you're new, subscribe. I know I've been memeing about it a lot in the video, but I actually have put a lot of work into the masked up stuff, and it's been in the works for a long ass time. So if you do choose to cop one, it means the app absolute world. Mast up that shop if you want to get yours. But yeah, don't rate Area 51. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at quite on Instagram at quite.png. Uh, this has been quite and I'll see you guys next time.